Hey everybody, this is Chris McClure, and we are going to have a short video together where we're going to talk about how to do polynomial division, at least a special case of polynomial division, where you take some polynomial divided by a, a linear binomial. And this method is called synthetic division. So let's go ahead and get this set up here. Okay, so here we go. Let me uh, pull up my pen. Now, this is a really slick way of doing polynomial division under a special case all right so here we go we're, we're going to look at doing a polynomial division along the lines of taking a a higher degree polynomial like a second or higher degree polynomial divided by a like i said a linear binomial of the form x plus or minus some number now, review what we did in the previous section in doing polynomial long division. We took a look at the leading coefficient for both the divisor and the dividend and asked ourselves the question, how many times does x go into 2x cubed? in this case and the answer is 2x squared in, in other words what is 2x cubed divided by x that's 2x squared and then we subtracted well look it, it's always going to be where this number here this one this one it's always going to be the same as the one up top and uh so we would you know, think about trying to, you know, somehow uh, eliminate some redundancy here. You know, imagine having to do this many, many times. You can see certain patterns so you can eliminate some of the fluff. So you can get really down to the heart of doing these sorts of divisions with minimizing the number of strokes of your pencil and minimizing the, the amount of notation that you use. So you can get rid of these pieces here. You can get rid of uh, a lot of the other stuff. So you can get rid of the X's. You can even compress all this stuff upwards. So let's go back, see what we've eliminated here. At this point, we eliminated these guys right here. We eliminated the X's. All right, let's kind of compare where we're at. Okay, so it looks a lot more simple, huh? Now we just push it up until we have this kind of a condensed form of our polynomial division. So let's just recall what it is that we're doing here. With going back over here to the left, we still have our polynomial division. It's just that we've cut out a lot of extra fluff. And now if you just focus on taking the each of these terms in the quotient, you know, taking, uh, you know, times the, the negative 3, you have the negative 6, the negative 15, negative 5, at each point we're subtracting. That's what we're doing here. We're subtracting, but imagine if you add the negative and then turn that minus 3 into a plus 3. So, kind of look right here. Look at what we've got down here. The 2, the 5, the 15. I'm talking about this 2, this 5, and the 15. 
as the terms of your quotient, and then the 48 as being your remainder. And here we have the first three of the four numbers on the bottom row there as the terms of our quotient polynomial, and the 48 as being our remainder. Do you see the pattern? So hopefully this gives you some inspiration as to how we're going to do this synthetic division where we are going to the take the negative of the negative 3 times 2. which So the negative of negative 6 is positive 6. So here, just imagine that you just have 3 there. 3 times 2 is 6. Put the 6 there. Add negative 1 plus 6 is 5. And then you take the 3 times the 5 to give you the 15. 0 plus 15 is 5. 3 times 15 is 45. 3 plus 45 is 48. So that works out to be pretty slick. You can quickly do the division. So this is how we are going to do our synthetic division. Now notice at this step, we just have a positive 3 there. from this x minus 3. So when you are dividing by x minus a, you'll just put the a right there. So this will generate our solution pretty quickly. Let's uh, just go through a quick example, and you'll have the chance to practice this in the homework. Now let's suppose that we are going to take x cubed minus 4x squared minus 5, divided by x minus 3. Okay, so let's do synthetic division here. So how we do this, so we're not looking at any x's or anything extraneous that we don't need to. Just in a row, write down all of the coefficients from the uh, dividend, which is the, the x cubed minus 4x squared minus Five. Uh, by the way, you have a plus zero x term that's missing. So write down the numerical coefficients, and here they are. Here you have your one times x cubed minus four x squared plus zero x minus five. So all these five, uh, these four numbers here represent this third degree polynomial. And then the next step is to write this little symbol right here for the division and put your 3. The 3 comes from the x minus 3 that you're dividing by. And then you skip a row and then draw a horizontal line. And then take this leading 1 from the dividend and bring it down below the one, below the horizontal line that you just drew. And then you're, sure, you're going to start multiplying and adding. You're going to take the 3 times the 1 and put that result here. So 3 times 1 is 3. And then add negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And then take this 3 times the negative 1 to give you negative 3. And then you add 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. And then 3 plus negative 3 is negative 9. And add, and you get negative 14. So you have x squared minus x minus 3 with the remainder of negative 14. And that's what we have. So this is just going to show you what we just did, where we multiply and add, sorry, uh, yeah, multiply, put it over here, and then add, and multiply like we did here, the 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, add, so multiply and add, and so here we are with our remainder here, negative 14. So these numbers right down here tell you the coefficients of your quotient. 
x squared minus x minus 3 with remainder negative 14. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this video is just a quick uh, introduction to synthetic division. All right, here's another example here. Here we're going to use synthetic division to verify that x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial here. Now how would we know that this x plus 3 really is a factor of this polynomial? Well, if we were to do the division and find that the remainder is 0, That's when we would know that x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. Just like with the number, how do we know that one number is a factor of some larger number? Is if we were to do the division of the larger number minus, uh, divided by the smallest number, the result would be some other number with the remainder of 0. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do the synthetic division. So let's set our problem up. We have the the uh, coefficients from the uh, polynomial here, from the dividend, the 2, the 5, the negative 2, the 2, the negative 2, and the 3, all right here. And then because we're dividing by x plus 3, you could write that as x minus negative 3, and here's the minus 3, the negative 3 that you're dividing by, at least in the synthetic division sense. Okay, and once you've got this set up, then you draw this horizontal line. You won't see these numbers right away, of course, but you're going to fill them in. Then you take this 2 and bring it down. And then you take this negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then add 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Add negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 3. Add 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Add, or uh, multiply, I should say, negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Add negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Multiply negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Add, and you get 0. This position right here is the remainder. Notice the remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0, that right there tells you that x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial here. And when you do that division, you notice that the quotient is this string of numbers, meaning when you put that in terms of a polynomial, here we've got constant, linear, quadratic, third power, fourth power. So we have 2 times x to the fourth power minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1 is the quotient. So we could say that this polynomial here is x plus 3 times this polynomial here. Okay? So we've just verified that x plus 3 is a factor of this large polynomial. Okay, so that's it for synthetic division. Uh, I will quickly record a uh, different lecture on the next section of material where we're going to review rational expressions. All right, I'll talk to you later.